from Chevalier. So Chevalier, we've got f- sort of fawn with a with a Greek director at least, uh, mm. Yorgos Lanthimos, and this is they are sort of my only entry point in the Greek cinema. Now another Greek film that we, I mean, when I first read about it, I did sound really interesting because it did sound sort of like the ultimate sort of, uh, I, I can't say the word I want to say, but it, I guess um, m- m- male. Well, it's like chauvinist male yeah, contest, chauvin- isn't yeah, it? Yeah, chauvinist male, like, 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 like the ultimate sort of bullfighting contest, you know, like yes. just show off. Now know. I know what word you mean. Yeah. So in this, yeah, uh, so they're in the middle of the agency, basically on the luxury yacht, and this doctor's brought them all on board. He's with his partners and his family members, and basically they're going on a fishing trip, and they decide to play a game while they're moored at the harbour, waiting to go home. And during this game, they decide to, well, I mean, they basically decide to mark themselves on everything. So that's whether that be the sleeping pattern that they have, or like mm. how they sleep. Or or how they, uh, dress, how they walk, how they, how they dress, yeah. how they look. So obviously anything that they, that anything that involves them or the things they do. So that naturally leads to some quite mean spirited competition. Yeah. And it sort of gets very very boiling blood of type yeah. and keeps going from there. And the winner gets the Taylor Chevalier ring, which the doctor wears on his finger. Yes. And it's all very competitive. And it's as you'd expect. It's it's very dry. Yeah, for like, the, like, it's a comedy drama. If you, for yeah. un, for those unfamiliar with Greek cinema, because it's, 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 it's yeah. we we know of it because we've seen a, f- a few things from it. But it, it's typically this kind of new wave of Greek cinema is very reflective of the Greek situation at the minute. Obviously, the, the, the Greece have a lot of financial difficulties, uh-huh. and these films are sort of seen as a reflection. So they're very dark, very dry, very surreal. That's that's what that's what you go for yeah. here, isn't it? Yeah. That's exactly right. And, um, but I think, uh, for me at least, uh, if I look at the director, the, um, her name's... Uh, re- uh, I'm not, uh, don't, I'm sorry, don't, don't, don't even try. Athena Rachel Sangari. I think I pronounced that pretty well. Fine, yeah. She's uh, primarily a producer. She's done things like Alps. Yep. She was produced on Alps. She was produced on Before Midnight mm. as well. And uh, her biggest sort of directing thing, she was the producer and screenwriter, was Attenberg, yeah. which meant to be extremely good as well. And this time, she's sort of... And I like how she's managed to to compile everything she's done many successful short films before that as well but I like how she's managed to compile and sort of pack everything into this closed space to make it feel even more tense and terse than you'd expect it to be that makes it very personal so you feel the competition but for me in this film I just I, I felt like it just didn't live up to the potential I'm really, exactly the same I, I don't know if it's just us building our own expectation or not but the fact when we saw that 18 rating at the start mm. I was sort of expecting a degeneration like in Dogtooth and there is it's just it's not it's as extreme. Not nowhere near as extreme. Yeah. It's not as physical as well. That might be why. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I think it doesn't make the most of the concept. It's a really good idea to sort of score everything, mm. and the tr- the trailer really points up as this really punchy sort of, you know, really really competitive. It's kind of more in the psychology, isn't it? It's kind yeah. of it's more in the conversations. There's not much actual point scoring in 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 terms of the game, but it's all kind of in the in the the thinking of them all. I. I I like I like the other Greek films I've seen more, and maybe it is that maybe I sort of wanted it to devolve like Dog Tooth did. Yeah. It's it's more on a sort of personal level that it does, and it's not quite as extreme. I, mean, I, I do I do I like, thought it was quite dull. Yeah. I, I do like how, how as time goes on in the film, it does sort of become more interpersonal and just sort of it has it has some feeling to it as it comes on. It doesn't sort of. I mean, to its credit, maybe the fact that it doesn't devolve is something that you, you maybe, should give it props for. Maybe. But I feel like I don't know the, the 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 characters that they have all felt rather. Like poorly defined in some parts, and in other mm. parts they did feel sort of underused. I mean, there was a Zach Galifianakis sort of lo- lovable puppy like character. Was I didn't he think was, was really used as anywhere near as much as he should have. But I don't know. I, mean, I, I wanted to like it, but I feel like it just took too long to get into gear. And when it finally did, it was almost over. Yeah, which is which is a big shame to be honest. I feel like this was a really good concept, but I mean, it's not bad by any means. It's I, just I, I get the, I get it. the point they're going for. And I like the idea; it just didn't meld together quite as well as yeah. I would have liked. But there you go, Chevalier. Uh, not not a recommend for me. No, I not think a recommend. If you're going to get into Greek cinema, try something like Dogtooth with caution, or maybe the Lobster. The Lobster's probably the more accessible. Yeah, the one, lo- Lobster's yeah. absolutely more. Accessible.